the fat controller was very cross with Thomas. You have a lot to learn about trucks, little Thomas. That's why I asked Edward to take them, not you. If you're not prepared to be patient and learn to do things properly, I shall have to keep you in the shed. No, sir. Please, sir. I want to learn. I want to be a really useful engine, he pleaded. The fat controller spoke to Edward, too. He told both engines that they would have to stay in the yard and tell Thomas knew as much about trucks as Edward. I'm sorry, Edward, Thomas said. It's all my fault. Never mind, Thomas, soothed Edward. At least we're working together. Gordon thought it was very funny. Careful with the trucks today, little Thomas. <laughs> he whistled, and he rushed through the station, laughing all the way. Be careful, warned Edward. Trucks will get cross if you bump them, and we'll try to pay you out. Soon, Thomas had gotten used to shunting. He carefully pushed the trucks into their siding and shunted passenger trains easily. One rainy day, Thomas prepared the morning express but an engine did not come. The passengers waited and waited. They began to say what a bad railway it was. Who's meant to be pulling these coaches, Edward? Asked Thomas. Henry. You know, he ought to have arrived by now. Huh, leave it to Henry to be late. I'll give him a wake up call. Thomas, where are you going? You're supposed to stay in the yard. Where have you been, lazy bones? The passengers are waiting. You take the train, Thomas. You like pulling trains. Thomas didn't understand. No, Henry, it's your train. And besides, Edward and I have to stay in the yard. Still, Henry did not move. Well, I have to stay in the shed, he blurted. It's raining, Thomas, a lot. But Henry, don't you want to pull your train? Don't you want to hurry down the tracks? Then Thomas remembered how Henry had been shut up in a tunnel because he was afraid of the rain spoiling his paint. Henry looked away. It's only water, Henry. Just little drops of water. That's what rain is. Henry plucked up courage. Like I put in my boiler? Exactly! Your passengers are waiting, Henry. See? Just water. It washes right off. Henry took a deep breath, and wheel turn by wheel turn, hopped into the rain. He found that it didn't ruin his paint at all. <laughs> only water, only water, he laughed, and the two friends made their way to the station. The fat controller spoke to Thomas severely. You have worked well in the yard, Thomas, but I asked you to stay here until you had learned. Edward can go back to his regular jobs, 
but you must work here alone from now on. Thomas didn't mind. He worked hard in the yard for the rest of the day. He knew that he had helped his new friend, Henry. Besides, he wanted to learn all about trucks and coaches so he could be a really useful engine.